When I was 15, uh, my mother died. And uh, I thought that that didn't have much effect on me. As a 15-year-old, uh, I couldn't let it. Um, but what I found myself doing after um, moving to a new school and then another new school, in short order, just as the result of my father's being reassigned a couple of times, was leaving school, from, from which I had no friends and no acquaintances, really, and going over to the um, shopping mall that was across the street and trying on clothes and stealing them. <laughs> I remember in particular a white tennis dress. I did not play tennis. Uh, it was cute. I took it home. I showed it to my sisters. And I didn't tell them right then that I had stolen it. I stole a lot of other stuff, but sort of more of the adolescent variety, you know, uh, nail polish or bangles or r records even sometimes, which were kind of hard to steal. Um, that that was a period of uh, probably six months or so um, where that was a, a release, frankly, I, I realize now. At the time, I don't know what I thought I was doing. I, I think I just didn't think. And fortunately, I was never caught. Uh, it, it could have been the beginning of, you know, <laughs> of a whole different life. I'm, uh, you know, happily married. I have two brilliant kids. I um, uh, work as a healthcare consultant um, and work as a neighborhood activist.